The Babysitter's Club by Gail Galligan. Book 7. Boy Crazy Stacy. Chapter 1. My child, a human hurricane. Mom, what do you wear to a mansion? What now? We're all going to over to Christie's new place today, and I want to make sure I'm doing it right. Haven't you been there before? Yeah, but not for a regular hangout. I bet her neighbors are really fancy. Christy even said they had to take Louie to a groomer before they moved so he'd fit in with the other dogs. Sweetie, Christy's still going to be Christy no matter where she lives. I don't think you should worry about it too much. And this is a cute shirt. Hmm. Hi, I'm Stacy McGill. I'm 13 years old and I'm a few weeks away from starting 8th grade. I moved here from New York City, and I love fashion, and will you be... Mom, you know I'm always careful about what I eat. I have type 1 diabetes. That means that my body doesn't make enough insulin, which it needs to turn sugar into energy. Having too much or not enough sugar in my system is very dangerous, and I have to watch my levels. I give myself insulin shots every day. This is my pancreas. It doesn't produce enough insulin, which means my body can't convert sugar into energy on its own. I, I keep track of my blood sugar levels with a glucose meter. It takes just a drop of my blood from a finger. But it's really not a big deal if you manage it right, which I do. I just wish my parents understood that. That's my ride. Gotta go, love you. Do you have your test strips, your insulin pen, your yes, 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 night dad? Oh, do you need pretzel sticks? I can put some in a bag for you. I'm fine, bye, love you. Hey, hey, Stacy. Did you hear about Louie? I heard they trimmed his fur and gave him a fancy bandana and everything. I'm going to be outclassed by a dog. Girls, girls, even if she lives in a mansion now, I'm sure Christy is going to be the same old... Wow. Christy, hey! As I mentioned, I moved here from New York City last year. I was worried about making new friends at first, but before I knew it, I became a member of the Babysitter's Club. Claudia Kishi, Vice President, Style Inspirer, Incredible Artist, and my best friend. Christy Thomas, President. Her mom just married a millionaire, so here we are. Marianne Spears, secretary, a little shy but really smart and thoughtful. Melray Pike, junior officer and newest member, loves books and big sweaters. Don Schaffer, alternate officer, Californian vegetarian, very cool. And me, club treasurer. I call this meeting of the babysitter's club to no, it's a party. I can't believe we're all splitting up for two weeks. Yeah, have we been apart for that long since the club started? Ah, uh, all of you are going to have so much fun, and I'll be here during new family bonding time. Dawn's going to visit her dad in California. Guilty. Claudia and her family will be lounging around at a resort in New Hampshire. The fresh air should be really good for Mimi. And Marianne and Stacy are going to bab babysit the Pikes on their annual beach vacation. There are eight Pike kids, including Mallory. She has a tough sometimes because she's the oldest and ends up taking care of them a lot. Mr. and Mrs. Pike thought it would be nice to hire me and Marianne to babysit, so Mallory could really enjoy herself this year. Mallory, 11. Claire, 5. Margot, 7. Vanessa, 9. Triplets, Brian, 10. Jordan, 10. Adam, 10. And Nikki, 8. I had to admit that I was a little nervous. Mary and I and I are friends, but we aren't as close as, say, me and Claudia. And we're so different from each other. Outgoing, sophisticated, romantic. Shy, sensitive, thoughtful. Not to mention our fashion sense. That said, there was no way Mary Ann or I could say no to a paid beach vacation. Oh my gosh, it's almost time for our parents to pick us up. I won't see you guys for two weeks. Hey, I have an idea. Let's just change our vacation addresses. Then we can all write each other postcards. That's a good idea. 
If we write about our babysitting jobs, we can copy them into our notebook later, too. Don, Marianne, your parents are here. Two weeks. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you and be bored. It hurt to imagine being away for so long. But I couldn't help getting excited about the sun, the surf, and all the adventures that might await us in Sea City, New Jersey. Chapter 2. Embrace yourself. Hi, Marianne, Stacy. Come in, come in. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we go to Sea City. We'll see the beach and shells so pretty. She thinks she's a poet. I'm so a poet, and you should know it. Poets don't have to rhyme everything. Rhyming's an art, you stinky kids, kids. Marianne and Stacy and I have to talk business. Give us a moment, okay? Sorry about that. No, no, thank you for having us. I asked you to come here today so we can talk about what you'll be doing in Sea City and just set some grand rules. Mostly, you'll be giving Mr. Pike and me a hand, since of course we'll be there too. But we would like a little time for ourselves as well. There will be afternoons or evenings when we'll go off and do things on our own, and that's when you'll be in charge. There's a lot to see and do in Sea City, and you should be perfectly safe on your own. Just keep a careful eye on the children when you're crossing the street. And we have one beach rule. Absolutely no going in the ocean, not even waiting before 9 a.m. or after 5 p.m. That's when the lifeguards are off duty. Aside from that, the kids can swim as much as they want, as long as they stay in front of the lifeguard station, okay? Okay. After that, Mrs. Pike told us a little more about Sea City and the house they'd be renting there, as well as things like grocery shopping and dividing up chores. I also reminded her of my diet and how I would be managing my diabetes. Alright, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. 8 o'clock. And with that, it was time to go and pack. Stacy's two-week beach bag. Cute tops, sunscreen, don't forget, bikini, toiletry bag, strappy heels, sundresses, a good book, sweater just in case, embroidery, flip-flops, and shorts and jeans. Stacy, you all packed? Just finished. And you're set for two weeks? Yep. You have toothpaste? Yep. Stamps for postcards? Yep. And... <sighs> Mom, I got my diabetes kit right here. The doctor's numbers are in my purse, and the Pikes have a copy too. I also told M Mrs. Pike all about my diet today. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, Stacy, I'm gonna worry myself sick. Mom, it's okay. The Pikes have a phone. They'll call if anything happens, and you can call if you get worried. Although, maybe don't call too often. The Pike kids won't listen to me if they think I have to check with my mom for everything. It sure is hard helping your parents watch you grow up, but it has to be done. Dear Christy, Saturday afternoon. Hi, we made it. The drive down here was wild, but we arrived unharmed. Do you like this postcard? Marianne and I found a drugstore with all these cards. Here are some things to put in the Babysitter's Club notebook. Sometimes the Pike kids get car sick. Claire is still in her silly stage. She calls her mother Moosey and her father Doggles. That's all for now. More tomorrow. Bye. Love, Stacy. Chapter 3 You double-checked your test strips, your glucose meter? Double and triple. Well, looks like I'm not the only dad who'll miss his daughter. Hi, Stacy. Good morning, Mr. McGill. Hi, Stacy. Willy Billy Goo Goo. Marianne, Silly Billy Goo Goo. Phew, I think that's it. What's this? Bedding. Toys. Uh... Forty-five minutes later, everything was finally packed and ready to go. All right, team, here's the plan. Marianne, you'll be helping out in Mrs. Pike's car. Stacy, you'll be with me. We're going to meet for a quick break at the halfway point, which just happens to be Happy's ice cream. Roger. 
And we were off. Mr. Pike, Mallory, Nikki, me, Barf Bucket, Margo, Claire, Entertainment. Wait, Barf Bucket? Goodbye, house, silly Billy Goo Goo. Sea City, here we come. How much longer? Oh boy. A few hours. Why don't you and Margo take out your coloring books? You could do a page to give to your mom. Everything was quiet for about an hour, and then... Hey! Barfmobile? Dad, speed up, speed up. We have to catch them. I don't feel so good. Ah! Silly Billy! Ice cream, ice cream! Phew! How's your ride been? Everything was fine until the barfmobile sign. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just a few hours to go. Nikki, for the last time, quit it. Quit what? I'm not doing anything. I can hear you whispering about me. Must be your imagination. I'm just sitting here quietly, no saying nothing at all about your face. Knock it off, you two. But I didn't do anything. You're making a racket. Hey, everybody, look. Dear Claudia, Saturday night. Hi, we've been in C City for half a day now. You should have seen the kids today after we got there. We went exploring as soon as we got a packed, and they were so excited. There's so much to do here. After we looked around the town, we took a walk on the beach. I saw the most gorgeous boy. He's a lifeguard, and he's a guy of my dreams. See ya, love, Stacy. Chapter 4 So you guys come to this house every year? Yeah, we've been really lucky. It's right on the beach and everything. Sometimes, in the evening, we sit on the porch and watch the ocean. And when it rains, there's this room on the third floor of a window seat where you can curl up and enjoy the lightning and crashing waves. Same rooms as last year. Boys in the big bedroom at the end of the hall. Claire and Margot, you're next to Daddy and me. Vanessa and Mallory at the pink room. Mallory, show Stacy and Marianne the yellow room, okay? Wow, this is gonna be great. So, what do you all want to do this afternoon? Go to the beach. I want to make sand castles. The arcade. The Ferris wheel. We'd go, go to trampoline land. Well, maybe we can do everything, sort of. Sort of? Stacy and I haven't been here before. Why don't you all take us on a tour? We might not have time to do all of the things, but we can at least see the town. Yeah. Everyone finished eating pretty quickly after that, and then we were off to see this uh, city. A few hours later, we found ourselves at the back of the beach in front of the Pike's house. Hmm, looks like the left guards are packing up. I don't think you should get in the water, but you can play on the beach. I'm gonna get the paddle ball stuff from the house. Yeah. Ah, uh, you said it. Dear Christy, Sunday. Here's something for the notebook. Pikes, get up early. See ya, Stacy. Dear Claudia, Sunday. Today, I found out that gorgeous lifeguard's name. It's Scott. I can't wait to see him again. Love, Stacy. P.S. I can't let Marianne see this card. She doesn't understand about Scott at all. She thinks I've lost it. Chapter 5 Stacy? Stacy? Stacy, can we go to the beach? We want to go to the beach. Stacy, what's these two want to hit the beach and it's barely even morning? Stacy, it's our first day on the beach and the sun is up. Stacy, too early, you sleep now. Bacon? The kids all scarfed down breakfast and then it was off to the races.
Hmm. Do you think something's up with Byron? What do you mean? Byron, come on! No thanks. You're so boring. Lame. He knows how to swim, doesn't he? Yeah, the kids are all taking lessons last year. I wonder if... Oh my gosh. It's him. Huh? The beautiful lifeguard. He smiled at me yesterday. His hair, his eyes, Marianne, I'm in love. Um, and the moment our eyes met, it was like, wow. I know, I know, he's cute and he's a lifeguard. Don't get my hopes up. But he looked right at me and smiled. You saw it, right, Marianne? Gosh, I wonder if I should go over and say hi. Should I? Would that be weird? Scared cat, baby. Quit it. Hey, what's all this about? He won't come in the water. Us triplets are supposed to stick together and he's ruining it. Who decided that you triplets had to go in the water? What about what Byron wants to do? Well, I mean, it's the beach. And this is the beach made of just... Hey there. Hey, I'm... Ah! What happened? She got her foot on the shell. Allow me. I'm Scott, by the way. Scott, I'm Stacy. For the rest of the day, I kept finding excuses to go back and talk to Scott. Everything I found about him is just made me like him more. Scott Foley, 15 years old, from Princeton, NJ. He'd grown up near New York City. He has impressed when I would told him I was a babysitter. Like cats, I was absolutely, completely, 100% in L-O-V. Stacy! Are you even listening? I understand that the lifeguard is cute, but we're, st we're still here to do a job. You've been leaving me alone with the kids today all day, and it's really frustrating. Stacy? Scott. What? His name is Scott. Ah. It looks like Adam was going to spike the ball right at me, and then I backed into the big thing and seaweed. I'm going for a quick walk. Dear Christy, Monday. A problem with Nikki? The triplets think he's babyish, so they don't play with him. But there are no other boys in the family, so he doesn't like getting stuck with the girls, especially Vanessa. I feel kind of sorry for him. Love, Stacy. Dear Don, Monday. Hi, how is Sunday, California? Guess what? I am sunburned. I look like a tomato with hair. Love, Marianne. Chapter 6 Scott was off duty the next day, but I couldn't stop thinking about him. <laughs> he, he seemed happy whenever I came to talk to him. Did he mean he liked me? Or was it too obvious? What if Scott thought I was trying too hard? <sighs> the whole day went by in a haze, but then... Stacy, Marianne? I'd like to take Mr. Pike to dinner tonight. Would it be alright watching the kids for the evening? We were thinking we could, you could take them to Bur Bur Burger Garden! Burger Garden! We sit on mushrooms to eat! We have to get a crazy burger! They have orange sauce! The waiters all dress up like animals, and there's a big, big tree, and what a fun and tasty way to end this bright and sunny day. Last year, I won a coloring contest and got two crazy burgers and a fantasy fountain soda, and the orange sauce is because they mix ketchup and mustard together, and it's the best. Mushroom, mushroom. Whoa. Welcome to Burger Garden. Follow me. Well, this is another first. My first trip away from home. My first time at New Jersey Shore. My first time being served by an animal. Your first time eating on a mushroom. 
It's a really magical summer. Go sit with Vanessa. No, I want to sit with you guys. Us triplets are sitting alone. No, you're not, because I'm sitting with you. Where will I sit? Sit with us, Nikki Silly Billy Goo Goo. What's the matter with the fuss? Sit with me, I'll- No! In the end, Nikki agreed to sit with Vanessa on the condition that she would flip her poetry switch for the night, and I felt the triplets alone. The kids were good for the most part. So after dinner, we let them eat by a mystery egg from the enchanted tree. Lucky! Nice! Turns out that if you have a coupon for three free dinners at Burger Garden, the triplets will be your very best friends. After that, we gave each kid a few dollars and took some time to enjoy the boardwalk. One hour later, we all met back up at the ice cream place. Okay, I'm not going to have any ice cream, so that means there's enough for one scoop for each of you. And sprinkles. I'm not going to have any either, so there's a little extra. Oh, wait, are you feeling okay? You look kind of funny. I don't know, I feel hot on the outside, but chilly? Oh my gosh, you're sunburned. No! We got Marianne some ice cream to cool her down. And then our second beach day came to a close. What did I do to deserve this? Marianne, I brought you something. We all did. I brought moisturizer, a bottle of water, cold compress, mom's aloe cream, a little fan, it lights up, tea bags for your eyelids, and I brought peanut butter. Peanut butter? It's yummy. Dear Claudia, Tuesday. I know I'm supposed to be babysitting, but Scott was on duty today, and he's all I can think of. He said the sweetest thing when I went to say goodbye for the day. I can't wait to tell you more about it. Say hi to Mimi. Love, Stace. P.S. Marianne thinks I'm overthinking it. She doesn't understand. Dear Christy, Tuesday. I'd never have suspected it, but Byron has a lot of fears. He's afraid to go in the ocean, even though he can swim. And last night, when we went on the amusement park on the boardwalk, he wouldn't go through the haunted house. Well, we'll have to talk to him about this. Love, Stacy. Chapter 7 I'm sorry, Marianne. I'm a tomato, a beautiful, smart tomato. Hey guys, hey Scott, Stace, you're here. Abby was telling us about a big scare at her beach last year. Oh, what happened? The kid thought he'd been stung by a jellyfish, but his sister just pinched him underwater. That reminds me of the time Hey, uh, need some company? My name's Alex. I noticed you were watching the kids, too. I'm with my little cousins over there. Kenny, Ellie, and Jimmy. They can be a handful, but they're cute. Yeah, I'm babysitting for my friend's family. I'd be out on the beach, but sunburn. Oh no, are you? I said stop. Jeez, it was just a little water. Sorry, the triplets have been getting into fights all week triple trouble but wait there's another babysitter here with you right shouldn't she be helping out good question shark everybody out get out of the water marianne i've got claire and adam we're here Where's the shark? Where's the shark? It, 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 that is that is there? Oh, wow. Fossaram looks like a garbage bag. For the rest of the day, I alternated between trying to convince Byron that the water was safe 
and finding reasons to go over and talk to Scott. The more we got to know each other, the harder I fell. He was kind, funny, charming, and so cute. I just had one little problem. Whenever I glanced back at Marianne, she was glaring daggers at me. But I could see that the kids were just frying from the lifeguard stand. And anyway, the other boy was over there helping her all the time. I think we should take them inside. Jordan looks kind of burned and Claire's just burning out. Okay, you start. I need to- Stacy, I can't do all of this by myself. There's so much to pack up and the kids to watch. You have eight kids to help you. And that other boy who keeps showing up. But we're the ones getting paid to. I'll be back in one minute. Thanks, Marianne. Scott! Oh, hey, Stace. Just a sec, Dave. I'll be right there. I just wanted to say, thanks for coming by the last few days. You are really fun. Catch you tomorrow, Stace. At that moment, I knew. I just knew. Scott was in love with me, too. Dear Christy, Thursday. Today, the weather was awful. Stacy and I must have been out of our minds. We took the kids to a miniature golf course, but guess what? We had a great time. Sometimes I think that eight kids aren't any harder to take care of than two or three. The pikes argue and tease, but they also help each other out. Love, Marianne. P.S. Stacy is being a real pain. She really is. P.P.S. Don't ever show this card to her. Chapter 8 You know, I think today would be a pretty good day to go to Smithtown. No! Dad, please, not Smithtown again. What's Smithtown? It's a hockey old town that's supposed to look like the 1700s or something. I always wear a frown when I go to Smithtown. Smithtown is a very nice resort of colonial village. There are stores, houses, a church, a blacksmith, craftspeople. Oh! But the kids don't have to go if they don't want to. Are you and Dad going to go anyway? Hmm, why not? Can you all find something to do today? Leave it to us. So Mr. and Mrs. Pike handed me and Marianne some money, and then they drove away to Canolial Smithtown. We just have to find something everyone wanted to do. Looks like we have Sari, Monopoly, some jigsaw puzzles. We do the puzzles every year, and there's always a piss missing. And Claire's cheats at Monopoly. Okay then, coloring. Boring. Siblings, siblings, don't be blue. I, Vanessa, shall entertain you. Gather around, make no sound, as the poet of eyes of no! You know, it's not actually raining anymore. We could probably go to the boardwalk at least. Once we made it to the boardwalk, everyone's decision was unanimous. Today was a good day for mini golf. I'm first, I'm first! Maybe we should split into two separate groups. Good idea. Alright, now that we've made it through, there's just one more thing left to do. Set our balls up into that chute. Okay. Somebody just won two free games. Oh, oh, it's me. Can we play again now? Why don't we save that for the next rainy day? Okay, Stacy, silly Billy Goo Goo. Sunday, Christy. Nothing new to report. Kids fine. Byron's still afraid of t water. Stacy. Dear Claudia, Sunday. The most awful, humiliating thing in the world has happened. I can't believe it. I feel like such a jerk. 
Marianne tried to warn me about Scott, but I wouldn't listen. She told me not to fall too fast. She told me this. She told me that. And I wouldn't listen. Oh, I'm such a jerk. I guess I've run out of room. I'll tell you the rest in the next postcard. Love, Stace. Chapter 9 We've been in Sea City for just over a week, and things are going swimmingly. My tan was coming along nicely, and I bought a new cute bikini on the boardwalk. I was doing great with my diet and insulin, and Mom had only called to check in twice. There was just one little thing. Marianne and I weren't exactly on speaking terms. Frankly, I think she was jealous. That other babysitter kept hanging around her whenever he had the chance, helping her with the kids and making sack houses and stuff. And let's be honest, he was nowhere near Scott's league. But for her complaints, Stacy, you're spending too much time with Scott. Stacy, you're supposed to be looking after the children. I was at the lifeguard stand for heaven's sake. I had the best view of the kids, and half of them were in the water nonstop. So wasn't I the one who was actually watching the kids more than Marianne? Wow, Stacy, you're the real deal. That afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Pike came back from Atlantic City in a very good mood and gave me and Marianne a bit of a surprise. How would you two like the rest of the day off? Come on, Marianne, please don't be mad at me. We have five whole hours to ourselves. We can go to the boardwalk, have a quiet dinner, enjoy some rides, do some shopping. Fine, that sounds good. I'm really glad we came. This past year, I feel like I've finally started becoming myself, if that makes sense. Figuring out how I like to dress, standing up for myself, being more independent from dad, coming here feels like another step toward that. Marianne, that's really cool. I kind of know how you feel. My parents are great, but they worry about me a lot. Yeah. I should buy Scott a present. Uh, everybody likes hats, right? Uh, something for him to think about on the beach. I don't, huh? Oh, Marianne, these are connected by a little heart. Uh, I could, nope, nope, uh, definitely not. Do you think he'll like it? Um, uh, maybe. Does he like chocolate? Probably. No matter what, this should really show him how I feel. Don't you think? Marianne? Stacy, wait, don't. Stacy, congratulations, you were right. I won't be needing this anymore. Come on, Stace, let's go. Dear Dawn, Saturday night. Stacy is still being a pain, but I feel bad for her because she saw Scott kissing another girl and started to cry. How is California? I miss you. I'm thinking of getting another bikini at the store here called If the Suit Fits. Stacy already got one, of course. Love, Marianne. P.S. Destroy this card in California. Chapter 10 I'm sorry, I have a really bad headache. Would it be alright if I didn't go to the beach this morning? Oh, honey, of course. Just take it easy. Thanks for sticking me with all the kids again. Last night, you dragged me around to billion stores looking for a present for Scott. Then, when you saw him with that girl, you practically blamed me, when all I've been doing is covering for you. And you don't actually have a headache, you're just moping over Scott. So? What's the big deal? It's not like you won't have that boy babysitter there to help. He sure does love showing up when I'm not around. That's, that's not the point. What point? How you've made me do all the work so far. We are getting paid to take care of the pikes. Nobody else. And I have been. Um, Stacy, can I stay with you this morning? I guess, but I'm not feeling very well. Do you feel like taking a walk, or are you too sick? A walk might be nice. Um, as long as it's somewhere quiet. For my headache. Oh, I know a really good place. Come on. 
This is base side of the Sea City. Wait, is Sea City on an island? No, but just a little piece of land that curls into the ocean like a dog's tail. That's a nice way to describe it. See, you can see land across the water. That's the rest of New Jersey. Byron, are you afraid of the water? Well, not exactly. I don't like rough waves, and I don't like when I can't see the bottom. Anything could be down there. But Jordan and Adam don't understand. They think I'm a baby. It's okay. You know, it's smart to be af afraid of things. It is? If you aren't afraid, you might take dangerous chances. On the other hand, if you're too afraid, then you'll probably miss out on a lot of fun. The bottom's hidden here. How do you know it's not the edge of a cliff? Well, I don't. But if it is, we can turn around and swim right back, can't we? As I walked with Byron that morning, everything that quieted the bay, I finally started trying to untangle the knot of feeling deep in my chest. It wasn't like I'd ever asked Scott out, or vice versa, so I knew I couldn't really be mad at him. I was just so embarrassed that I'd completely misinterpreted what was going on between us, and I didn't think I'd be able to spend any more time around him or the group. Even though it wasn't anyone's fault, the hurt was a little too fresh. Thankfully, Scott's shift ended just before Byron and I got to the beach. That gave me some time to clear my head. And it made me realize, even though I'd spent all this time around the kids, I haven't really been with them. And to be honest, I've been a bad friend too. Hey, Marianne, sorry I've been a complete jerk. I should have paid more attention to you and the kids, and um, not let my crush get in the job. And I should have listened to you when you tried to tell me that. I'm really sorry, Marianne. Apology accepted. Dear Christy, Wednesday. Byron went in the water, sort of. I know what he's afraid of. We'll talk about it in the next BSC meeting. I heard a really funny joke today. I'll tell that at the next meeting too. Love, Stacy. Dear Claudia, Wednesday. Sadness over. I met a cute guy named Toby. I mean, really cute. He has brown hair, brown eyes, and a few wrinkles. His clothes are extremely cool. Love ya, Stace. Chapter 11 I'd been nervous about what Scott might think when I started avoiding him, but the days went on, same as ever. I'd played with the kids and did my best not to look his way, although sometimes I couldn't help myself. And then, suddenly, it was Wednesday. Hmm, you know what? I think some of the kids are actually getting bored of the beach. Maybe we should split up. I would have liked to skip the beach myself, but Marianne was worried about getting another sunburn. So, off we went. It wouldn't be too bad, though. I could just relax, enjoy the sea air, and... Stupid, stupid, silly, billy, goo goo! You're stupid, Claire! What are you doing? Nobody wants to play with me. They're all in the water. That's no reason to call anybody names. Say you're sorry, and then go lie down in your towel for ten minutes. Sorry. Uh-oh. Um, sorry, Claire was teasing him. No prob, kids do that. Hey, you're Stacy, right? Yeah, and you're Alex. Yep, these are Ellie, Jimmy, and Kenny. And this is my cousin Toby. His family's staying in Sea City for a few days. Hi. Hey. I should, uh, get back to Claire. Nice meeting you. Hey, uh, do you know how to make a witch's castle? Witch's castle? First, we sit a little close to the water. 
That's because we need wet sand. Pick some up, and then let it drip through your fing fists like this. Oh! Hi, <laughs> it's drippy. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. I had a really great time. <laughs> Me too. See you tomorrow? I promise I'll only tell one long bad joke. You can have two, but you've got to tell me more about your band. Deal. Toby was 13 years old and lived in New Jersey. Bye bye, Toby Silly Billy Goo Goo. He was thoughtful, cute, and funny. And he didn't look at a single person except me while we were talking. I wasn't ready to say I was in love again, but I sure did like Toby an awful lot. Dear Christy, Friday. The kids are antsy. It's their last day here. They want to do everything one last time, but they're also excited about going home. I'll probably see you before you get this card. Love, Stacy. Dear Claudia, Friday. I'm going out with Toby tonight, for real. We have an evening on the boardwalk planned. I'll tell you more about it when I see you. Love ya, Stace. Chapter 12. And just like that, Friday had come, our last day in Sea City. I couldn't believe it was almost over. But this vacation still had some surprises left up its sleeve. You two deserve another night off. We'll take over at 5 o'clock. Oh! It'll be so much fun. We can check out souvenirs again, eat some funnel cake. Or... You could see if Alex can come tonight, too. He could, we could all go to the boardwalk or something. You, me, Alex, and Toby? Uh, together? Yeah, like a double date. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, this could be our very last chance. We probably won't see either of them after this trip. Th that's true. So get settled. Go see if Alex can come and take a night off. Ack! Well, well, we're meeting at um, Hurley's Hot Dogs at 6 o'clock. Toby, Alex, hey, you guys look great. Who's ready for some world-famous hot dogs? I can't wait. I heard this place has really good veggie dogs. Just like that, with the flowers, Jamie had to wait behind a long line of other procrastinators to get his suit. But thank goodness he finished just in time to take Amy to the dance. The first thing he, she did has asked him to get her a drink. So he went to get her a cup of punch. And wouldn't you know it, after all that, there was no punchline. Please tell me you don't know any more jokes. Hey, Marianne? Would it be okay if we split up after dinner? I mean, would you feel okay if being alone in with Alex? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Hey, Stacy, I got you something to remember me by. Toby, thank you. Chapter 13 Stacy, silly billy goo goo? Claire, what are you doing? Looking for my swimsuit. Will you come to the beach with me? Sure, but it's too cold to swim. Why don't we get dressed very quietly and I'll meet you downstairs? Before a magical beach vacation could come to an end, hey, hey, everybody, guess what time it's for? We still had one thing left to do. The chore hat. No! I've put the names of eight chores in the hat. We have to leave by one o'clock, so let's do all our best. Stacy, Marianne, can you two supervise the children packing? 
and take some time to pack up yourselves. I can't believe we're going home. It feels like we just got here. But we sure made a lot of good memories, didn't we? The kids sunburn besides. We look on Adam's face when Nikki got the hole in one. The look on your face when you went to ask Alex on a double date. It's almost over. I didn't tell you about part of my date. Oh! We found this place where you can buy rings and have stuff engraved on them. They were only a few dollars, um, so I got him one with my initials. And he got me one with his to remember each other by. Marianne! I just have to make sure Dad doesn't see it. He'll go ballistic. The kids finished up their chores early enough, so we all had time to, for one last swim at the beach. I tried to capture it all in my memory. The salty air, the warm sand, the sun. Oh, look who's coming. Hey, sit with us. Sorry, we're just out for a quick walk. We have to get back. But we wanted to say goodbye. Oh no, I hate goodbyes. Promise you'll write? Yeah, I'll even send some really long bad jokes. Will you remember me? Always. Chapter 14 I'm home! Stacy, how are you? Did you have fun? Did you take your insulin every day? Did you wear sunblock? Did you... I had a great time. I kept my diet and insulin, and they didn't even get sick once. I'm so proud of you. I know we've been two big worry wards, though this... But Stacy, you've been very responsible. We'll try to be better about trusting you more. Once I got back to my room, taken a nap, and unpacked a little, I sat down to call Claudia and catch up with her. Hello? Claudia, I'm back! Stacy! I can't believe I'm talking to you. It feels like it's been years. How are you? How was the trip? I got all your postcards. Oh, I'm really sorry about Scott. How are you? Great! I think the mountain air was really good for Mimi, and there were arts and crafts there, and a lot to throw a pot. You what? Why? <laughs> That's what they call it when you make a pot. On a potter's wheel, you throw it. Oh, mom and dad really liked it. They said maybe I can take a class here when school starts. That's great. Did you meet any interesting guys? Oh, you know. I met this real charmer named Skip, perfect hair, gorgeous eyes, and three years old. Boo. But what about you? What happened with Scott and Toby? We talked for hours about vacations, about everything I've noticed about the Pikes kids, and about, you kissed your first kiss. You didn't say anything about that. Details, details. I couldn't believe that our beach trip had come and gone so quickly. In just a few weeks, we'd be back in school, starting 8th grade and getting to all sorts of new adventures. But for now, I had a bear, a shell, and fond memories that I knew I'd hold on to forever. <laughs>